Princes William and Harry, once thought of as the closest of brothers, have been plagued by rumors of a rift for the past year. Now, their grandmother has sought solace in their cousin. The Queen, 93, reportedly does not care for the feud between the future King of England and his younger brother. Prince William, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have made moves to separate their lives in recent months, in both a professional and private sense. And it seems the drama is all a bit much for Her Majesty, who has sought the company of another of her eight grandchildren, Zara Tindall, 38. Speaking to Fabulous Digital, Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said the Queen prefers to avoid the Cambridges and Sussexes when things get awkward. She said, Her Majesty does not care for the alleged feuding amongst her grandchildren William and Harry. That would make her very sad. But she would never interfere with their lives. Instead, she seeks the company of down-to-earth Zara and her husband, Mike Tyndall. Miss Seward said, they are certainly light relief. She can be herself around them. The Queen allegedly prefers the Tyndalls because they are more normal and free of the royal dramas. Miss Seward added, the Queen has always adored Zara and is so proud of her riding success. They have a lot in common as they talk horses and the Queen has invested in several horses for her. The ripped rumors have taken their toll on the royal family. The Queen is also known to have a close relationship with Zara's older brother, Peter Phillips, 41. The royal also competed in the Wellington Horse Trials last year, just two months after the birth of daughter Lena in June. Zara has kept up her tight trials schedule after enjoying various riding events this summer. At the beginning of the month she competed at the Smith's Lawn Horse Trials in Windsor and was pictured flashing a wide smile while on her trusty horse Gladstone. Similarly, she was on her own at the trials, unlike the weekend prior when husband Mike and her two children helped cheer their mother on at Gatcombe Horse Trials. Wellington Country Fair and Horse Trials previously won the prestigious accolade of Event of the Year awarded by the Southeast Eventers League for the fourth consecutive year which is unprecedented. The four tracks make use of the gently rolling hills and natural dips and hollows incorporating a mixture of portable and permanent fences. Miss Seward said, I think the Queen is closest to Zara and Peter as they were her first grandchildren and have always been the favorites. She's at her most relaxed around them, as a child she used to give Zara a smack around the legs when she was naughty, which was frequently. The Queen gets unwell with Prince William and Kate, but don't have the same kind of easy-going giggly time with her as Zara and Mike do. The popularity of the young royals has plummeted with the general public, and that's not the least of the Queen's worries. Added to the rift she has the criticism aimed at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on a near-daily basis, the scandal around Jeffrey Epstein which threatens to engulf her son, Prince Andrew, and the risk of the Brexit crisis flowing over into the monarchy. The Queen famously described 1992 as an annus horribilis for the royal family after Prince Charles and Diana divorces and a devastating fire ravaging her beloved Windsor Castle. But all the signs are pointing to 2019 being no better.